Welcome to Food Funded 2020, learning about justice, equity, diversity and inclusion and climate change in the food space. Food Funded is all about community and connection. In short, it's all about bringing money back to the earth and back to your own local neighborhoods. So well, we're really here to celebrate the next generation of food entrepreneurs. We're rethinking a new paradigm of business, period. So when we talk about Jedi, we have to start from there. That's how I feel. We wanted to support those entrepreneurs and community change makers who are working to build a more regenerative, nourishing and equitable, accessible food system for all. To me, the onus then is really, really high that the people who have power in this industry and influence in this industry will get to shape the products that they reflect the people who they're, who they're serving. Because marketing, and I say this to all of my clients, it's more than a logo. It really is every touch point, is every point of contact, even how you say hello. This is a $1.25 billion industry, and we need lo new leaders of the future. Kube is that new leader, that new leader of building the next inclusive and regenerative economy. I am here today seeking justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. I've always been ambitious. I still have so much more I want to accomplish. Just, but I just always imagine like what, what I could do if I had more resources. My target customer has always been women because I saw how women actually produce 20% more revenue with 50% less capital. It's a no brainer. That's a part of our business model as we want to really employ the disadvantage, whether they're youth or maybe they've been incarcerated while growing our own supplies. Because we're really talking about creating jobs, co creating locally resilient jobs and vegan ice cream manufacturing that is grounded in racial and gender equity, grounded in climate justice. We're a part of the solution instead of being part of the problem. We definitely want to thrive in, in diversity and inclusion. And one big thing we've noticed is the lack of funding for early stage entrepreneurs and leaders. As far as I know, I'm the only woman of color in direct trade spice sourcing. The fact that there's nobody that looks like me in this industry um, speaks to who's had power for a really long time. Black professionals make up only 2% of company leadership and only 2% of board leadership within the natural and organic industry. We really need to focus on access to capital and, and networks and information. And that is a major challenge that we need to take up. Black women, for example, in the US only receive 0.006% of the $425 billion available funding. So how are we able to yeah. do that? open ourselves up so that we're creating networks for uh, for different founders and entrepreneurs. But if we can try and remove some of the bias that we have toward people that, um, you know, maybe coming from different backgrounds, it can ultimately help us look at the investment with a very clear, clear head and not mm -hmm. influenced by things that, that we may not be aware of. If we give these founders half of the resources that some other brands get, uh, it, it's, it's crazy to think about how uh, successful they can be. If I can't get there, who, how else are these other young women going to get there? So as investors, I think we have a real um, moral obligation actually to listen to our entrepreneurs, especially those that have a different experience than we do. And I'd like to challenge ourselves to think about, could we say instead, what are we risking by not investing in this business? At Jedi will lead to building better communities that are um, more sustainable, that are, you know, very vibrant and, and definitely, um, you know, healthier. The best way forward is to support each other in community so that we all get better together and help each other get through some of the massive struggles that are really a part of it. And you know what? At the end of the day, this is about being truly, deeply human. So over the past year, we've rolled out unconscious bias training. Um, we created our own Jedi recruitment and hiring best practice training for our managers. And we recently completed a Jedi statement that embodies Nutiva's Jedi beliefs. And that's actually in our handbook. So every employee has to sign that. 
entrepreneurs have faith. There are good people out there and there are people who want to do things differently. And for all the woke investors out there, I'd say look into restorative financing, look at innovative ways in which you can flow money that can actually heal the harm that we had in this world. So mm -hmm. it's good for all of us. We will create a just and regenerative world where all of us get to thrive. I just want to encourage all the entrepreneurs, everyone today who presented today is don't give up. You never know who's going to introduce you to that person who's going to be that person that's going to actually have either funding or maybe advice that can open up a whole new opportunity for you. So I just want to thank you guys for all the beautiful work that you've done. This is just the beginning of a long journey for sustainable relationship building. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks Take care. Thanks to everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.